Good morning, Bishop Gorman. Gorman. Once again, I'm Colton Castro. And I'm Danielle Harris. And congratulations! You just survived the first week of school. And also, today is the feast day of the beheading of St. John the Baptist. Wow, that sounds terrible. Well, it is terrible, but it's also an amazing example of how far someone will go for Jesus. How far will you go for Jesus? With that, we stand for the prayer and the pledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, you raised up St. John the Baptist to prepare a perfect people for Christ. Grant that, as St. John was martyred for truth and justice, so we may energetically profess our faith in you and lead others to the way, the truth, and eternal life. Glory be to God in all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready to have a great week, Bishop Gorman? Because, because BGTV, BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. This could possibly be the best day ever. And the forecast says that tomorrow will likely be a million and six times better. So make every minute count above your fit and seize the day. And let's make sure that in every single possible way. Good morning, Bishop Gorman. I'm Caitlin Bertram. And I'm Tanisha Figueroa. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. It's Monday, August 29th, and on this date in 1898, the Goodyear Tire Company was formed, enabling us to get necessary aerial views of every major sporting event ever since. We begin with a warning to all sophomore teachers. Your six-period students may be plotting to get out of class early. Immediately after school today, parking permit applications for sophomores are being accepted in the Commons. It will be done on a first-come, first-served basis, so make sure your bribes for Hilliard and Glenn are generous. Applications can be found on Edline and in student services. Hopefully, all you juniors and seniors remember to turn in your application last week, or you'll be riding shotgun this fall. If you're one of those students who can't keep their mouth shut during class, you might want to try to save those words for speech and debate. The Speech and Debate Club is meeting today after school at 2 p.m. in room 108. All students are welcome, and if you have any questions, Feel free to see Ms. Ramos. If anybody is interested in being a crew member of the Gales Theatre Guild Fall Arts Festival, please see Mrs. Ferrante Martin in the theater complex after school this week. Seniors, as you begin to write your life stories on college applications, don't forget the place to share your stories before you send it in. That's right, that place is Creative Writing Club. This club is actively seeking new members, not only seniors. If you're interested in joining, there will be a meeting this Friday, September 2nd at 6.30 a.m. If you are unable to make it but plan to join, please see Ms. McGeckern in room 203 at your convenience. And keeping with our theme of new club members, the Social Justice Club is looking for new members as well. Watch out for emails through Edline from Mrs. Martinez for your first meeting. Also, don't forget to support Matthew's Closet. Matthew's Closet is a wonderful and very successful homeless clothing bank that we students help staff. It's also a wonderful and fulfilling way to get in your service hours. Volunteers are needed from 2.30 to 5 p.m. on Thursdays throughout the school year. See Mrs. Sports in the chapel for more details. Well, it was a much anticipated weekend for, in sports. For more on that, here's our own Kelly Stewart. Kelly? Unless you've been living in a cave, you've probably heard that the Gales lost 20-17 to, to the number two ranked football team in the country Friday night. That's the bad news. The good news is, if you're a fan of heart, determination, courage, and character, then you've got to love this 2011 Gale football team. Down 20 to three after three quarters, the Gales came storming back in the fourth and showed a national TV audience that we can play with any high school football team in the nation. Congratulations to Coach Sanchez, all the coaches and all the players on a gut check performance. Next week is Desert Oasis here at home. So come out and show your support. Congratulations to the Lady Gales volleyball team. They competed in the Las Vegas high school invitational tournament this weekend and won five out of the six matches against teams from Rancho, Silverado, Utah, and California, losing to only Green Valley on Saturday. Finally, if any freshman girls would still like to join the women's golf team but miss last week's tryouts, please see Coach Gutman in room 311 as soon as possible. I'm Kelly Stewart and that's all for sports. 
And that's our for us and this last Monday in August. We'll see you next week. Until then, I'm Tanisha. I'm off to slip Fiori at 20. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. This could possibly be the best.